Hey, how you doing? Uh, Derek Doom is here with Duloc Studios. Um, a lot of people uh, have been asking about bump mapping in Unity 3D. And believe it or not, there's no coding. There's none of that. All this stuff is built into the Unity engine. Um, and uh, I'll show you how real quick using simple free programs. And the great thing about Unity is uh, in order to make a great looking game, you don't need to buy the, the full license, even though we went ahead for motion blur and if you really get into this, it's definitely worth it. Um, but today we're going to do bump mapping. Now, what bump mapping is, is basically it's a grayscale. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and we're going to use the almighty program paint. That's right. That's all you need is paint. And from here, you just want to choose. It doesn't matter which side. I mean, you want where basically one thing ends, you want another one to begin. And the thing about this is we only need to use... Um, black and white because what we're going to do is we're going to trick the computer into thinking that this black and white is a height map kind of like how if you're using the terrain tool it's the same thing so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a box and we're going to outline this box make it very simple here make sure you got the, uh, the biggest one selected and that looks about good right about here now that looks pretty good. View, full screen. Okay, well, we can't tell. Now, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into home, and we're going to split this box into four sections. If you want to really get detailed with it, uh, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to do it, but there is math involved. Um, but basically, measurements. You want these, if you want it to look very professional, you just make these look the same size. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing there. Okay. Now we're going to click on our gray, we're going to bring up our brush, and we're going to give this, oop, bring up our brush size a lot. We're going to give this some depth to it. And we're just going around. Make sure you don't touch the sides of the black. Now black is your lowest height, white is your absolute highest. And you know what, now that I think about it, white is going to be shining like there's no tomorrow. Oh, let's exit out of that because I just made a rookie mistake here okay so we're going back to the line there we go now you want these lines to be straight because where one ends another will begin so we go ahead we take this we're gonna fill it up with a lighter gray each one of them that's the maximum height anything darker is going to be lower so we're just gonna take this and if you color over it, it's not a big deal. It can always be fixed. Now, if you want it to reverse it, all you, there's a simple trick on how to do that as well. But we're going to take this, and to save time, I'm just going to grab a section, copy, and paste it. Post another one there. We'll bring this up a little bit. Same thing, copy, paste. And now we're going to bring this bigger section, copy, paste, down into here, paste. We'll get another one over here, overlap that. We'll make these try to look as uniform as kind of humanly possible. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to make another custom color. Go to your edit colors, very simple. And we're going to make it even lower. There we go. Add to custom colors right here. Here's your custom color, same thing. With the brush, let's take that and color over it. Now, this will do bump mapping just the way it is. Um, however, if you want to give it a smoother, more professional look, you should have Photoshop. Um, there's no way around it. If you can't afford Photoshop, learn GIMP. GIMP is just as good. Um, you can do a lot of the things that you can in GIMP um, that you can do in Photoshop. Uh, there's plugins. It's a great open source community, a lot like Unity. Um, and if you're just starting, there's no reason to drop that amount of money. It's ridiculous. If you're really interested in this, there's programs like Kickstarter, uh, th tons of different programs out there that are for free. All right, there we go. So that's basically what we got here. Do a little touch-ups. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. So we go File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a PNG file because that's a high, a very high resolution file. 
Uh, this is underneath my documents, but we're going to throw it underneath the desktop for the time being, and we're going to call this tutorial. Save it. Done. We're not going to need that again. So now we have tutorial right here. Bam. Beautiful. Well, what we got right here now is we're going to load up GIMP. And like I said, GIMP is an excellent tool. Just grab tutorial, dump it in there. Here's our tutorial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to smooth some things out using the uh, the smooth tool right here. and Or I'm sorry, blur, uh, which is actually shift and U. And we're just going to blur this stuff in there. You know what? Let's make, if you click on your blur tool twice, it brings up the toolbar option, and you can actually change the size so it cuts down on time. But keep in mind, if you're trying to get the most effective slash, um, well, not most effective, but uh, accurate, I should say, um, and make these really detailed, the bigger that it is, the less, the less control you have over it. So you can actually move in using your plus and minus keys, and we're just smoothing this right out. We'll even, well, hell, we'll even smooth this. If you want to do it the lazy man's way, you can go ahead, zoom out, and uh, underneath filters, there's blur, and just click blur. And it blurs the whole picture for you. Another thing that you want to get into is the smudge tool. And what's going on with our smudge tool? Oh, that's why the size is nothing. So we're just smudging it. See, we're kind of making it look a little rickety, a little old school looking. Kind of like uh, my first masonry project or my current masonry projects. And once again, we're just smudging all this. Let's zoom in, get a little more control. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Now keep in mind, paint comes with your computer. Um, Unity is free. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, this is free as well. This is GIMP. This is another free program. And there's tons of awesome programs for this as well. Kind of like the Asset Store, but you just go on their web page. Now, what we're going to do here after we've done this, or we've done this, I should say, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing. Shift and U brings you up to the Smooth tool. Let's smooth all this out. And, heck, let's make this a lot bigger since we're doing the whole space here. Now, oops, we came up with a problem here, and that's that our lines right here are no longer connected. It's actually going to make this look a little bit less like, you know. Um, and now the granular, we're going to keep that there. Uh, we're also going to keep the smudge here so you can see exactly how bump mapping works on each tile that we've done here. Okay, so let's go back into our toolbox. We're going to go ahead and click on the... Um, the pencil. Wow. Brain's not working today, folks. It's lack of coffee here. And that's way too big. So, control Z. Everything's pretty much standard. How does point 0.8? Point 0.8 looks great. And we just take that and once again smooth it out. Size goes up and not that much. So you can see here that it takes a little bit of time. Bump mapping is an art. It's, I, I'm sure if you've looked it up, there's a lot of tutorials that say that you absolutely need to have uh, programming knowledge. No, not true. You, you don't even have to. That's all built in there for you from via Unity. And here's another cool little trick that I'll show you. Just take that and then you use your smudge tool. And we can actually smudge these lines. Smudge and fudge, I should say. Smudge it and fudge it. Same thing, down. All right. Almost there. Now, if you take it from the white and bring it down, you're, you're basically pretending you put a, your hand in an ink blot. That's what you're doing here. And we'll just move this up. Move this down. Let's get... This is where the, the art comes in. Oop. 
Don't like that. All right. Okay. Once again, we're still going over. And mess with this as much as you want. Make sure you save your uh, your original file. Um, this would be a your original, um, or you could even use it um, back in Paintbrush again if you want to go ahead and. The paintbrush is good for the small little details. I use this more or less as a touch-up tool. So this looks good to me. Now, if you're saving a project in GIMP, man, this is going to look different. If you're saving a project in GIMP, um, you have to actually export it, which I I have no clue why they do that. It's kind of like uh, saving a file in um, SketchUp and then exporting it, to, trying to export it to a FBX file. Um, which if you don't have the uh, full version of SketchUp, which I believe now is like 570 bucks, they just boosted it up ever since Trumbull got their hands on it. They destroyed that product. So if you can get your hands on the original Google SketchUp 8 from Google, download it, save it, keep it. It's a heck of a lot better than Trumbull. All right. Um, now, you, there's actually a way to export those, those files for free, uh, but that's in another tutorial. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to export this. We're going to put this underneath, I believe, yep, this is our desktop. Um, and we'll call this tutorial1.png. We're going to export it. So we're going to export it. There we go. Interlacing. Uh, resolution, yes. Okay, there we go. Done. So now we're going to see what this does for the height map of uh, bump mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize out of this. Here's tutorial one. Here's tutorial one. Huge difference with the, the smoothing of the texture. But I'm going to show you how both work and how both look. Next what we're going to do is we're going to open up Unity. This is just a project that I've been working on. Show you briefly what it this is without motion blur and all bump mapping. This is what you're able to do without any coding whatsoever. All these bump maps and textures are 100% mine. Um, there's nothing in here actually that is, it, this is all custom made. It's still in a work in progress. This is just something that I made from SketchUp. Yes, let's get out of here. All right, so let's take a box. Game object, create other, make your standard cube. There's our cube. Bring that down. The shadows, that is, uh, that's an effect that is in the Pro version, um, along with motion blur. That's one of the reasons why, if you're really getting into this, it's definitely worth the investment of $1,500. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, um, I'm sorry, all of the textures were not mine. This is one from SketchUp that it was imported, but the rest of them are. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're clicking on the box, and we need some sort of texture to go in there. So, what the heck? Let's uh, let's go back in. We'll go back into Paint, and with this, I don't know. We'll make it a. I like brown, black, and green. So we'll just make a beigeish color. Fill up the screen. You can use it with any texture. If you have textures that you downloaded, this is your main texture. This is not what is going to be bump mapped. So from here, you just save it as. It's underneath desktop. We'll call it base. There's our base. So now we just drag our base underneath textures. What you want to do is you want to make a separate, um, something completely separate from the rest of these. Underneath image effects, underneath standard assets, models. Here's a, it, you can put it anywhere you want. I keep this open just because I've been working with it. Drag and drop that. Let's see how this looks. Oh, what the fuck? All right, so we got a little box. Very good. Get out of that. And once again, we're going to do the drag and drop. Let's do tutorial. And tutorial one. They are now both underneath our textures. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this, and because we added the base, we're going to go underneath the shaders. 
And if we want to get make it all shiny, we do bump specular, which we're going to do. So now that it's bump specular, we're going to put it underneath the texture there. And that's almost it. Play. Now the box has some depth to it. Now, it doesn't quite look like the way that we wanted it to, so we're going to make it a little more detailed. The texture is not marked as a normal map, so we're going to fix it, and now it's made it a normal map. We go back, and now we can see where this black line was. It almost looks like tiles, and you can use tiles on the ground. Now, what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to, once we've made this, we fixed it, the texture, tutorial one, this is tutorial one, it's underneath textures. Whenever you click on Unity 4 or any of the other Unities, it tells you where the texture is underneath your textures. So we're going to click on it and create from grayscale. Bumpiness. We can change how bumpy. Let's go all the way up to the max. Anos level, your anos, uh, whatever the heck it is, I bring that up to a 9 just to max it out. And you can tweak with this all you want. Um, you apply it. Once the grayscale is applied, then you really see the magic happen. Now you have Doom 3 like graphics or any of those newer games. And we can see where each one differs um, from each other, from each one of the squares. So we went essentially from this right here, or I'm sorry, we went from this to this to this. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down in the box. Um, or this is actually a tutorial uh, exclusively for the uh, Unity community on uh, Google+. Plus. So please feel free to leave your comments and uh, Post some screenshots. Become part of the community. Show us, uh, show us what you're working on, and we'll be more than happy to see you, uh, see you on the uh, the the web page. All right, take care, guys.